Hello, hello, hi guys, Dane here and welcome to what is always my most popular video of the month. I am talking of course about my small booktuber Sunday shout outs and guys I want to say the fact that this is my most popular video of the month means you all hate me and you're all looking for other channels to watch instead of mine. I am joking of course, I think it's great actually, I think it's like a real testament of the strength of this community and the fact that everyone's always looking for new recommendations. I know when I see other people making recommendation videos, I always go in and see how many of the channels I've got and how many I'm missing and I almost always subscribe to the ones that I'm missing as well. Personally, my approach is generally to subscribe first and ask questions later. So. I'll normally subscribe to a channel, I won't even necessarily watch any of their content. I'll probably add a few to my watch later list, get there eventually. And if I really don't like someone's channel, I'll unsubscribe from it, you know? But that's pretty rare. So, it does make keeping on top of my subscriptions a little bit of a challenge, but I think I do alright. Anyway, I digress. What you all came here for are my 10 booktuber shoutouts for the month. So without further ado, let's get started. These are in no particular order as well. And some of these are people I thought I'd already shouted out, but I didn't. Number one, we have Anthony Andrews. Now, if you haven't heard of Anthony Andrews, you have been living with your head beneath a rock. He's probably, I mean, I film in advance, so by this point, he's probably on like 20,000 subscribers or something. He's a rising star in the booktube community. He's a young lad. I actually don't know how old he is. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. I mean... He, he can hold his own against some of the adults here on booktube. Just subscribe to Anthony's channel, he's a great kid. He's got pretty good taste in books, better taste in books than I had at his age. He's a good lad, so go check him out. Up next, number two, we have Rogers Reads. Now, Roger is also an author, but really, he's just a really nice guy. A really warm, really friendly guy. And he also reads a really diverse selection of genres as well. Everything from LGBT stuff, you know, through YA to things like horror and uh, he read uh, Catcher in the Rye recently for so he does mix and match through a bunch of different genres and I think that's pretty awesome and he doesn't have enough subscribers he deserves way more than he's got so definitely again check him out. Up next we have Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey and Mindy is my home girl I think that's the best way to describe her we've actually been friends pretty much since both of us started. She's just, a, again, really nice person, really easy to get on with, reads a wide selection of stuff, so she was part of the Junuary crew back in January, where we all read June. Oh, that was kind of difficult to say. What she did recently as well, she took part in a readathon. I can't remember which one, but it involved cosplay, which was pretty good as well. And, yeah, she's just... Just a really fun channel to watch. I definitely recommend checking it out, especially because, again, she reads a, a quite a wide variety of different books. Then we have The May Caves, so that's Megan, and she reads a lot of historical fiction, which I don't necessarily read loads of, but I also never say never. What I've been enjoying recently on her channel is she's been doing a bookshelf tour. She kind of started doing those videos around about the same time I started doing my bookshelf tour, actually. And I've watched every one of them all the way through, just because I find it so fascinating. She's got some awesome books. She's also got some awesome trinkets and some stories behind them as well, which I think is great. And I don't know, she's just a really nice person again. I think that's the common trend amongst all of the booktubers on this list, is that all of them... You know, I just feel like I'm sitting in front of an open fire in my dressing gown, smoking a pipe in, in my massive library, watching them talk, you know, it's just so cosy. And Megan's channel is no exception. Number five, we have Reading Outside the Box. Basically, on the Reading Outside the Box channel, it is run by a librarian, and sometimes he gets his librarian friends to come in. Sorry, I can't remember any of your names apart from Miss Abby, because everyone <laughs> loves Miss Abby. But I'm bad with names. But uh, yeah, they, basically, their videos are like... Every time the library gets a shipment of new books in, they pick out some of the weird ones. <laughs> so, for example, the last one that I watched, they had, uh, like, uh, things to draw on temporary tattoos and stuff. It's always a good laugh because there, there tends to be some sort of practical element to their, you know, their, their videos. It's, for example, they normally have some sort of book that teaches you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! or make balloon animals or whatever it is, and then they'll give it the old college try. Number six, we have The Reading Werewolf. And this is an example of a channel where I'm really drawn to it just because of the guy's personality. You have to you have to actually listen to him talk to see what I mean. So go through, pause me if you want, go through to his channel, watch one of his videos. 
He's just hilarious. And I don't know if it, it's deliberate or not, but it, yeah, I mean, I always, I always watch his videos just with a smile on my face. Like I watched him do the unhaul challenge recently, and it's the only one of the unhaul challenges I've watched the, the whole thing of. And uh, yeah, he also has a werewolf mask that he bring out every now and then. And he just, yeah, it's just a, another great channel as well. And he's been struggling to kind of find small booktubers. So he was uh, really thankful that I posted my last one of these videos because it helped me to introduce him to some new channels. And funnily enough, actually, he is a channel who I realized was missing from my last shout outs because when I filmed it, I hadn't met the guy. And so uh, he was the first one on my list for this video. So fun fact there. Okay, next up we have the dyslexic reader, and as you might be able to guess, she is dyslexic. She's also Irish, which I always like. I love Irish accents, so any more Irish channels you want to recommend to me, feel free to let me know. I can probably name about a dozen off the top of my head already. But what I really like about her channel is she's recently done a series of videos on the Reader's Bill of Rights, which, to be fair, somebody else created, but then she took each of the rights, explained it, and then talked through and shared her opinions on it. It was great. It was like a, a series of discussion videos, which are my favorite videos to watch anyway. So I really enjoyed that. She also recently read The Lord of the Rings for the first time. And she was saying in her video about that, I definitely enc encourage you to check that one out because she was talking about her experience of it as someone with dyslexia. I mean, Lord of the Rings isn't the easiest book to read at the best of times, especially when it comes to some of the names of the places and the characters and stuff. And I think she read the three books in two weeks. Something like that. I read the three books in three years. There is no way I could have read that in two weeks. I needed to take my time with it. So props to her as someone with dyslexia as well. I think even if I read The Lord of the Rings now, I wouldn't read it in two weeks. So that was a good effort. All right, then we have a bubbly bookend. With bubbly bookend, the clue is there in the title. She's very bubbly. She's also very Australian. I think the two of them probably go hand in hand to some extent. This is going to sound weird, but I really like her backdrop as well. She reads mostly, I would say, more YA kind of things. But again, I'm not averse to YA. I don't tend to go for any one genre over another. But yeah, her videos, they always cheer me up. I watch her videos and I'm like, fucking yes, let's read some books. Okay, number nine, we have Weena Wonders. Weena is a Filipino booktuber, although I don't actually know where she lives. I found her through Chrissy Books and Berries, actually. Channel is great, and she has some pretty sweet tattoos as well. And good taste as well. She reads a lot of, like, Kerouac and Burroughs and that kind of stuff, which, which I quite like. And finally, we have Courtney from Cortagonist. Courtney's videos are all about cosy mysteries, and as somebody who has written a modern day take on a cozy mystery i find her channel fascinating there are so many cozy mysteries out there like genres within the genre that i didn't even realize were a thing she's talking about maybe setting up her own cozy mystery subscription box and she's just another one of those booktubers who's just a really really nice person just someone i'm really glad to have made friends with so shout out to you courtney and if you're not following her already go through and subscribe so there we have it, there are 10 more channels as part of this month's Small Booktuber Sunday shout out. So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which booktubers you've been watching over the past month or so and who you recommend I check out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and if you found this helpful. Hit subscribe to me if you haven't already. If not, hit subscribe to these guys. All of them are linked in the description below. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.